My name is Hilda Smolash. I teach basic English level one at the High School of Montreal Adult Center. I asked Avi for an idea about how we can use technology to help my students raise awareness of good pronunciation for my CCBE course, Building Foundations. Avi suggested creating and recording radio ads. We wanted to develop a project that I could easily repeat on my own, even if we didn't have equipment from the Reci. Also, we had to consider that our school doesn't have access to Wi-Fi for the students' devices. First, the class brainstormed ideas for a service, a product, a store, or a restaurant that they like or that they don't like. The students were also given another option to create a public service announcement. This kind of oral interaction fits well into our course, which includes learning to express likes and dislikes. Some pairs of students wrote a dialogue, other pairs created a monologue. After the written texts were completed, the students started recording their radio ads on their own devices. They were allowed to repeat record as often as they needed until they were happy with the way they sounded. We set a time limit at 30 seconds to one minute. Throughout the process, they listened carefully to the pronunciation of their partners and they gave each other constructive feedback. I had them work in groups of mixed native languages so that they could easily hear each other's errors. Meanwhile, Avi and I circulated listening for problem words and phrases. If students were having difficulty, Avi or I recorded their text on their own devices so that they could use our voices for comparison. Finally, the pairs formed groups of four students and they listened to each other's ads with a focus on pronunciation and intonation. We also played a few of the students' ads, with permission from the students, of course, for the whole class to enjoy using the classroom speakers. In a subsequent lesson, I reviewed the correct pronunciation of some of the problem words. This project also gave them a permanent record of their progress, as they could email the recordings to themselves. Some students said it was a shock to hear how they sound and that hearing themselves motivated them to pay closer attention to how they speak. I was surprised to discover that almost all my students have a device that can record audio, even without internet access. And I was astonished at the extent to which I was free to focus on teaching, rather than thinking about how to use the technology. The students were completely familiar with their own devices, and with which voice recording program would work best. All in all, the students felt that it was an excellent, engaging learning experience. It was also an exciting change to the usual type of lesson.